The only potential moral wrong in this situation is how you treat your roleplay partner. This episode was requested by my patron, Naomi Norbez. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about role-playing problematic topics. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to do this safely so that both you and your role-play partner have a good time. But first, we have to address the elephant in the room. Yes, it's okay to role-play whatever you want to role-play. You're typing fictional words on a screen. And the best part about fiction is you get to fully decide if you want to engage with it or not. That means there is nothing you can write that is truly morally wrong to write. The only potential moral wrong in this situation is how you treat your roleplay partner. That means if you and your partner are both adults and consent to writing a particular topic together, you are doing no harm. And quite frankly, I am truly tired of this turf stuff and anti-kink stuff making its way into the roleplay community, implying that somehow if you and your partner consent to write this stuff, you're harming this hypothetical third-party person that isn't even part of your roleplay. So I'm not going to entertain any of that in this video. We have an interstage window episode where we go more into depth on role-playing problematic content. I'll link that up in the card. If you're interested in having that discussion, then go there. We have it there. What we're more going to discuss in this video is for those of you that want to role-play problematic topics but don't really know how to go about it. How do you know what your limits are? How do you gain enthusiastic consent from your partner? Those are the things that we're going to endeavor to answer today. Think of your darkest, kinkiest, most taboo writing desire. The truly problematic thing that you keep in your head. Do you want to find a roleplay partner to write those things with? Of course you do. That's why you're still watching this video. So this is how I do it. This is how I find people to write First, you have to find a partner. I have a whole series of videos about finding a partner and crafting one-on-one ads. I'll link that up in the card. I also have a video on how to find the right roleplay group for you if you're looking for a group. Again, links for all of those up in the cards. You'll see them kind of going by uh, as we're talking here. My advice from those videos doesn't change in this situation. We're only going to add to it. And the reason for that is because I don't think you should lead with your most problematic desire. Just like how on a first date you probably shouldn't be sharing your absolutely wildest kinks, I haven't found success in roleplay with leading with the most problematic things. So first, find a group or a partner that you vibe with in general. And if you wanna find a space where more problematic content is allowed, read the room. If there's a lot of talk about morals in regard to fiction, Maybe this isn't the place to propose your darkest desires. In that case, keep looking. So step one is to make friends and build trust. And this has to be real trust. You can't go around as if your roleplay partner is like a problematic roleplay machine that you put tokens into and eventually you get exactly what you want out of them. And once you have built that trust, ask for the thing you want. And because you have built up that trust, when you ask, you can more confidently know if the yes that you're receiving is fully consensual and enthusiastic. Because let's be honest, it's harder to tell online over text if the yes is really an enthusiastic yes. So you have to proceed a little more cautiously than you would if it was a real life conversation. It's just easy to hide or misinterpret vibes over text. Now, once you do ask, Be prepared if they say no. They may, the problematic stuff is problematic for a reason. And that's because these are limits for a lot of people. And I have a whole video about hearing no link up in the card if you need some help with that. So let's take a moment to talk about limits. 
In my experience, since this is all fictional and relatively safe, you kind of don't know that a limit exists for you until you go to try to write that topic. What this means is that someone might say yes to you and then in the middle of writing the scene decide that they don't really want to and take consent back. You have to be ready for this to happen, especially if you've asked a partner that hasn't written your particular pet topic before. So if that happens, accept it gracefully and find another partner for that particular roleplay topic. This may also happen to you, so if you've been interested in writing a particular topic for a while and you finally find someone to write it with you. You may find that that thing you thought you wanted to write, you didn't really want to write at all. If that happens, speak up. Don't force yourself. Talk to your partner and apologize. And recognize that this might be a tough conversation. You're the one that asked for this, and now you're the one pulling out of it. They might be upset with you, but this is better than potentially hurting yourself over roleplay. Roleplay is supposed to be fun. Don't forget about that just because you want to write things that are more intense. If you want to roleplay problematic content, that doesn't make you a bad person. Despite what some losers might say. That being said, you do need to take care to get enthusiastic consent from your partners. And I recommend building trust and friendship first, before bringing out the heavy kinks. So what do you guys think? How do you go about role-playing problematic content? Let me know your tips and tricks down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. Mm -hmm.